name is Jason Kung. I work for West Basin Municipal Water District and my title is Operations Analyst 1. So my typical day is usually consisting of reviewing plans or financial analysis, so a lot of spreadsheets, things like that. My current position, I've been tasked from doing reverse osmosis to the site visits. It requires me to be flexible. We do work with a lot of different agencies, uh, particularly in our department. We focus on recycled water and the separation between recycled water and potable water um, on site for irrigation or any other uses uh, like cooling towers, things like that. Specifically right now, uh, projects that I'm working on, one of our desalting plants, uh, it's a reverse osmosis plant, takes uh, brackish groundwater, uh, cleans it up a little bit, and we blend it with some, some of that raw well water, and then we serve it to the city of Torrance. So that's our focus right now, is getting that plant back online uh, at full production. And then also uh, on the side, looking at the financial analysis of the plant. Uh, how, how well does it perform? Is it, a, is it a good investment? If it's not, how can we make it a, a better investment? How can we kind of reallocate re resources to, to accommodate that? For conferences, we do work a lot with a lot of other agencies, uh, you know, met, maybe Metropolitan Water Districts agencies, uh, and we're all involved in the American Water Works Association, so there are conferences for that. There are uh, specialized conferences as well dealing with, uh, say, ArcGIS, uh, which is a specific spatial mapping software that we can utilize you know, for our distribution system or you know, even our treatment, treatment plant. Uh, so we go to those specialized conferences to kind of learn how we can better use these tools to, to help the district um, perform its mission. Our district in particular is very supportive of professional growth. So yeah, uh, attending these conferences really helps build up your, your skills and expertise. So my story is a little bit interesting. You know, as a kid, I was always fascinated by water, particularly the Bellagio fountains in Las Vegas. I really enjoyed how there was this nice mesh between engineering and fluid dynamics and also uh, art. And I was enthralled by that as a kid. Um, so I've always pursued fluid dynamics. And so in college, I studied mechanical engineering. Uh, that was my major. And I actually came across a internship for West Basin did that internship for about a year and then uh, became part-time in IT at West Basin. As I finished college, there was an opening for operations analyst, so I went and applied and, and here I am today. For my particular position, operations analyst one at West Basin, it does require a four-year university degree. However, there's a lot of other jobs in the water industry that require um, you know, maybe a, a technical degree or an associate's degree, uh, specifically maybe in water distribution, high school education is perfect. English and history were not my strongest suits, but it's one of the more focuses in my position that helps me excel where I'm at right now, especially writing board memos, you know, uh, dealing with other agencies. Uh, you write a lot of emails, so you, you should probably be well versed in emails, but I don't want to make it sound like these non-technical skills are not as important as the technical ones. I feel like they, they all mesh together, they're just as important as the other, and with them, a healthy balance between everything, that's when you have a good, a good skill set. There are a few industries that I could work with, uh, with my expertise, particularly because uh, I studied mechanical engineering. In college, it's a very general discipline. Uh, you can go into aerospace, you can go into materials, manufacturing, there's a lot of different industries, but it definitely helps out in the water industry as well, you know, understanding fluid dynamics, uh, thermal properties as well, and, and it definitely helps out with pump and motor efficiencies. In my particular case, uh, as Operations Analyst 1 at West Basin, thankfully, in a government agency, you can see exactly what levels are available for you to grow in, you know, what duties, responsibilities, roles are required of those higher level positions. In my position in operations, it, it allows me to have the flexibility to work on not only customer service, customer support when helping out the site visits on their, uh, connecting up their customers with recycled water, but also the, the technical side, which is uh, you know, dealing with reverse osmosis, uh, solar energy production, pump and motor efficiencies, things like that. So the flexibility 
having all these little disciplines that you can kind of be a sponge and, and absorb is a, is a great, great thing to have about this position. For this occupation, there are a lot of opportunities as a student or even you know straight out of high school. There's a lot of internships available, whether it's part-time or unpaid, specifically for, for students. Uh, government agencies always offer internships in different departments. You can kind of choose and pick and apply where you would like. ESRI uh, offers a ArcGIS conference and they offer complimentary admission to their yearly summit for their, their product. And, and they and you can take advantage of that as a student and learn all about these different industries and where their product is applied to. ArcGIS specifically has so many different applications and it helps a lot in our water agencies specifically for distribution. Advice I would give to a student interested in this career is just be as open as you can um, about your expectations for the job. You will be required to be flexible, but you know that's one of the best things about the job is being a sponge uh, around all of your colleagues and your peers. Just learning as much as you can, intaking that information, and then making a decision based on all the data that you have. In my position, uh, particularly, it helps to be a hands-on learner. I am, uh, fortunately, and that's how I intake a lot of my information. Uh, dealing with reverse osmosis, you know, we're out there in the field at the plant, you know, turning wrenches, things like that. So it, it, it helps a lot to to be you know, immersed in that environment and, and kind of using these tools to the best of your ability. So if you're a student looking for a job in the water industry, something that would help you out a lot is understanding you know, what the water industry is, how it operates. There's a lot of different government agencies, a lot of different authorities handling different sides, you know, whether it's the well or even potable water, recycled water, there's so many different kinds, wastewater, sanitation. So understanding how all of those mesh together into the umbrella that is the water industry definitely will help your understanding and in, in, in searching for a job that fits your needs.